Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Civil Engineering videos. Today our lecture is to clarify the difference between the a dead load, the sulfate, and the superimposed dead load. So as we know that there are two types of the load. One is the dead load and one is the live load. The live load is the type of the load which are changes which, which change with the time. But uh, the dead load can be defined as dead load on the structure which is not going to change with the time or with the place. So we can define the dead load is the load, if I represent the dead load by L, so it is the load which does not change with the time we call as the dead load. So the derivative of the load with respect to the time will be zero because this load will be always constant on the building uh, and it never changes with the time and with the place, with the position. So we call this type of the load as the dead load or sometimes also called as the permanent load on the building. While the self-load and the superimposed load is the superimposed dead load is the two categories of the dead load. This, what is the self-weight first of all? The self-weight can be defined as the weight of the structure itself is known as the self-weight. Its uh, name uh, shows the self-weight that it is the weight of the structure. So we call it as the self-weight. For example, if I construct, construct it in a, in a home or building, let's suppose this is in a building and these are the footings provided for the building and this is the roof, for example, the top of the building. So this, uh, this weight of the structure, the own weight of the structure is known as the self-weight. For example, uh, these are the columns, these are the footings, these are the beams, two beams you can see and this is the roof trusses type of building so by calculating the load of these rods and these beams and these columns so they are coming under the category of the sulfate the sulfate and the superimposed dead load are the subcategory of the dead load but their definitions is a little bit different these are also the dead load the sulfate but they are the weight of the structure itself so that's why they are called is the self weight of the structure. Now, so what is what are the superimposed load? And the self weight are majority of the dead loads, right? They are mostly more than the sixty uh, percent. Of the dead load has the self weight. Now, what are the superimposed dead load? Superimposed dead load can be defined as uh, these are the load which are placed after the construction of any building. For example, uh, this is my, uh, this is, for example, let's consider this in a RCC frame structure, right? In a multi-story RCC frame structure. And these are the different floors in this building, right? You can see here, these are the columns, beams, and footings provided for the building. So, uh, these all weights like this, this is the slab, you can see, these are the slabs. And these are the beams, horizontal members, while these are the columns. And these are the footings. So this weight, which are the structure sulfate, we call as the sulfate. Now, during after the construction of this RCC frame structure, we place the a different type of other loads. These loads are like partition wall. If we make a partition uh, in between this floor, we make a partition wall. So the partition wall is coming under the superimposed load, or we place the floor finishing. When we finish the floor, we place the uh, tiles or some other marbles so they are coming under the category of simple superimposed load because they are imposed on the dead load they are imposed on the structure that's why they are called superimposed dead load and they are the partition walls the floor finishing like tiles and the waterproofing material are also coming under the category of superimposed dead load and the plumbing uh, plumbing material and the ac duct uh, carpet load or other are superimposed load because they are imposed on the structure after the construction of any building. So that's why they are called the superimposed dead load. They are also the dead load, not changing with the time in the place, but they are imposed after the construction of any building. That's why they are called the superimposed load. While self weight is the weight of the structure itself, and dead load is the total weight which is not going to change with the time. Hope you guys understand. Or what is the main difference between these three terms the dead load the self weight and the superimposed dead load and guys don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily updates thank you for watching my video